Public Affairs programming on WQPT is brought to you by The Singh Group at Merrill Lynch. Serving the wealth management needs of clients in the region for over 25 years. Decision time. Why seniors need to make a choice about their health care plan. And the sooner the better. Plus Dracula coming alive in the cities. Ballet Quad Cities will go to the dark side this month. It's staging Dracula as it starts its 21st season. We'll talk with the star Domingo Rubio in a moment. But first, deciding what's best for your health and your wallet. It's open enrollment time for Medicare recipients. And actually, this time of year is always decision time for millions of people with all kinds of complicated health insurance plans. But for seniors, these decisions can be frustrating and confusing. Instead of blowing it off, why not seek help and save some cash? And joining us is Jennifer Bedecker, who is the Assistant Director at Western Illinois Area Agency on Aging. Thank you so much for joining yes, us. Yes, thanks for having me. I really do want to talk about saving some money here. And, and your SHIP Senior Health Insurance Program counselors can do that. Yes. How? So what we do is, especially during open enrollment, we want people to come in so that we can compare their plan they're in right now, so their plan in 2017, what it looks like for 2018, but what other plans are available. So we really look at your, new, your current plan versus what other plans are out there to see where the cost savings are. Um, just because a person's health condition doesn't change, so medications right. don't change, yeah. the plans change. So that's why people get confused. They're like, well, I've had nothing change. I'm good. I don't need to look at anything. But the plans change every year. They're changing their costs from premiums to deductibles to copays. And then they're just changing pharmacies that, that are their preferred pharmacies. So it's going to make a difference of cost. So coming in so that we can really look free. at those free, completely free, unbiased, one on one counseling. So that's the nice thing is people. They want to try and understand it, but they need someone else to kind of walk them through the steps. So that's what we're doing. Let's, people, let's hit people on the side of the head right yeah. now. Because everyone's going to say, oh, I don't want to deal with my insurance plan. I'm happy with what I've got. Yeah. I'm sure it could be better, but why even deal with this? You have saved 38 recipients, made some changes, and saved $228,000 last year yes. alone. And there's an even bigger success story within those numbers. Yes, even bigger. So we serve a 10-county region. So within our 10 counties last year, our SHIP counselor served 976 people and saved one point nine million dollars it's unbelievable it's it's worth the time to come in our appointments are an hour and it might not even take an hour so it's just enough time to come in let's do a comparison and you may not need to change but if you do at least you make that change before the new year starts and you're stuck and that is the key thing because we have an open enrollment period until what early December yep. and then after that if you didn't make the changes you're not going to save this money and why not it's free yeah. money yeah. it's your money and that's why I say to people I'm like that money should be yours why would you spend a thousand dollars more in a plan when you can spend a thousand dollars less and you can go to the ballet you can go Absolutely. to you can go to the mall and get a new pair of shoes you know I said especially on people that are retired, especially with that um, fixed income, every dollar counts. So why would you just be wasting it because you've just always been in that plan? Western Illinois Area Agency on Aging mm -hmm. is the coordinator of that in Western Illinois, yeah. of course. It's, it's your, you, like you said, it's a 10 county area. Yeah. How does somebody, let's say, in Knox County find out more? Yep, so on our website, we have all of the counties that we serve and then the community agency in that county that does the SHIP counseling. And then it lists their phone number and then it also lists um, the days of the week and times that they have appointments available. Um, so in all of our 10 counties, there's a SHIP counselor available. And is there, I, I'd assume there's an age requirement as far as, you know, because it says senior. So with, with Medicare, it's 65 and older, right. or if you're disabled for two years on Social Security and get Medicare. So that's typically what we see, but we also see caregivers calling saying, I need mom to come in and talk to you guys, right. or can I come in and talk to you guys? So we even have caregivers calling to help understand their parents' Medicare. We were saying also, the sooner the better too. Yes. I mean, like anything else, there might be this mad rush in late November oh, yeah. for people to get some help. I mean, they could get started right now. Yeah, so it's October 15th to December 7th, and even right before I left today for, for this, we are already booked through end of October. Really? We're already into November. Yeah, we have people starting to call in August or September, 
because we set our schedule so early knowing that we've trained people to call us and get that appointment set. So we have appointments available, but that's the scary thing is as it gets closer, we only have so many counselors. So we really want people you know, to be proactive and to get in and give themselves that time. You were telling me the story that you uh, helped one person and then you helped their friend yeah. actually save even more money. Yeah. Um, it, it must really bother you that more people aren't taking part in this program. Yeah because the money is yours. Yeah, you know, and I think the word of mouth is what spreads it and opportunities like this that people just, again, take a couple minutes um, to come in and meet with someone and, and we take the work out of it. Um, instead of you tr reading through this little, you know, booklet that they send you that's only talking about your plans changes, right. we can t show you a whole comparison through Medicare.gov that compares more than one plan. And then that shows you the big, bigger picture of the cost and what pharmacies can you go to. Um, so that's the difference. And then, you know, the word of mouth is, well, I save $500. And then a friend yeah. comes in and is like, well, I heard you save Sally $500. What can you save me? So that's what happened. The, the friend came in and I saved her $800. So then I heard from the other because I didn't save her $800. <laughs> so. But let's, you're a fair dealer, though. I mean, that, yeah. that's the whole point is that you're a third party. You're not yes. representing any insurance nope. company. You are trying to, trying to make the best use of the options that are available. Yes. We always tell people we're here to counsel and educate. Um, you know, we can never pick a plan for them, which we don't want to because that is their decision. They will try to say, well, if I was your grandma, you know, what mm. would you tell your grandma? Well, you're not my grandma and I still can't tell you. You know, we want you to be educated and, and make that decision. And we always break it down for them. You know, we, we print out the comparison, we go through every price range, we go through the medications, we talk about pharmacies. So it's a very in-depth process and one-on-one. -on -one closed door, one-on-one, -on -one, completely unbiased to really give that person that time to ask questions and be educated. Because so often you might think a family member can help you out, but they aren't trained. They don't know all the yeah. policies and the ins and the outs, and, and they may help you make the decision, yes. but it's nice to have the eye-opening options that you're providing. Yeah, that's what we find sometimes too is, you know, someone will come in and say, you know, my son said this would be the best option, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, what did we go off of? And they said, well, just in general, they read, you know, the changes, and it seems like it's okay. Well, they came in, so let's do a comparison. But once we do the comparison and look at different plans, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, well, on paper, the changes didn't seem that big, but you know, now the premium's $20 higher, and right. we got a $20, you know, $20 less plan, so you can already save $20 a month by going to this plan. So that's the nice thing. And we have so many caregivers that call or so many caregivers that are like, I need to bring mom or dad in so yeah. that I understand this. So we've seen, I would say, a big increase in caregivers wanting to understand this to help their, their loved ones, but then also to take the pressure off of them because they're like, I, I don't know this. I'm not in this right now. So it definitely helps to have a third party to kind of help with that. Easiest thing to do is just look up Western Illinois Area, Area Agency, Agency on, on Aging. Aging in the phone book. Get the phone number also on the web as well. Yep. Yep. And then just contact us. Very we have simple. the appointments available every week. We have ship counselors available. We have three available um, Monday through Friday available to pe meet with people. All right, Jennifer, thank you so much yes, for joining us. We appreciate you. it. And really make a point of contacting the Western Illinois Area Agency on Aging well before the December 7th deadline. It could save you a lot of money. In a moment, Dracula and bullies. Ballet Quad Cities takes both of them on, but first Laura Adams has a calendar filled with great events you might be interested in if you plan to head out and about. This is Out and About for October 9th through 15th. Hi, I'm Laura Adams. Get some early holiday shopping done at the 28th annual Cambridge Methodist Fall Review and Craft Show on October 14th from 8 to 3 p.m. Hogtoberfest is coming back to the 80s at the River Center starting at 5.30 on the 12th. Featuring unlimited pork, beer, and seasonal specialty drinks, come dressed in your righteous 80s gear. Blue Eyed Blondes, a Swedish folk and country music duo, will perform a variety of folk, gospel, bluegrass, and Swedish folk songs October 12th in Bishop Hill. Plus, you're invited to Run with the Bull, a 5K race starting at Modern Woodman Park Saturday, October 14th at 9 a.m. The Hauberg Center is holding a mystery scavenger hunt October 14th, and on the 15th, bring a blanket and enjoy the third annual 1920s Quad Cities Vintage Football Game. Rock Island Independence versus the Moline Universal Tractors on the front lawn, just as they would have done 100 years ago. The Mad Woman of Shalott is performing at the Brunner Theater Center on the campus of Augustana beginning the 13th, 
while Prinzi players continue their run of Shakespeare's All's Well That Ends Well at the Quad City Theater Workshop in Davenport. There's still time to catch the Diviners at the Geneseo Barn Theater performed by Richmond Hill players through the 15th, and the musical Ring of Fire continues on the Circa 21 stage. For more information, visit wqpt.org. Thank you, Laura. Quad City musician Louis Knutson has a new CD out called Philip. It's got a big meat cleaver on the cover. It's kind of intimidating. Anyhow, we caught up with him at the River Music Experience stage when he was playing some of his original work, including this song, Whatever Happens. Give up my excuses. I give up all my pride. If you would be my home, and if I could live inside, I'll clear all my stuff out. Cause it's not worth a dime. You would be my home, and if I, if I can know your mind, whatever happens, I love you. Give up all my money. I give you everything I own. If you would just take the place of it, just you and you alone. I'll clear it out tonight. Oh, yeah, I'll be moved out by five. Oh, Hello. 
Lewis Knudsen on the RME community stage with Whatever Happens. I'm not sure which classic ghoul is the scariest for you this time of year. Some of you might pick Frankenstein's monster, or you may go with creatures like Wolfman, maybe some alien. But for my money, nothing is quite as unsettling as the cold, calculating prince of darkness, Dracula. And Ballet Quad Cities is bringing this classic story to the stage this month. And joining us is the executive director of Ballet Quad Cities, Jody Cook, and Dracula himself, dancer, choreographer, musician, artist, Domingo Rubio. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate My it. My pleasure. What pleasure. brings you back to the Quad Cities? You love this role of being Dracula. Yeah, it's the, the most complete role you can ever have. No, you can... You, you like can. being bad. I like being bad, but <laughs> Dracula is not just bad. Yeah, that's I, I it. Think Everything starts, I, I think the, the only thing that joins the, this whole production is love, in, in terms of the, the, the character. Interesting you interpretation know, of love. I know, but I mean, once you, 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 you find the intensity of love, no? you, you can have the, the love for your kitten. Well, that's tenderness. Sure. No? Love of money, greed, okay. No, expansion, ambition, okay, that, that's good. But when you put passion into that, so you are fearless. You, want, you, you, you know that you're, you're able to do anything. So here, you know, as one image, it could be the, 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 the last, the love of blood. Okay, That's, that means life. Right. You know, like the ancient uh, Aztecs. No, people try to say, oh, well, they, they gave sacrifice for, for this and that, or for the deities and all. But no, I mean, they, they meant that the, the most precious thing was not gold, but blood itself, because blood is life. So in that sense, oh, that, that, that's the beauty. Well, Jody, who, who ever heard of Dracula being explained in that way? I mean, how does this not show, how, how wonderful is it to have him here to reprise this role and bring the passion to the stage that you're seeing? We enjoy him so much. He's a Renaissance man, and he adds an element, a layer of life, which he's talking about, to our company, to the practice, to the choreography, and then eventually to the performance. So it's pretty fantastic. You know, we're talking about the beginning of the 21st season for the Ballet Quad Cities, yeah. and, and you, know, you, you see the arts not really necessarily supported in all communities, and yet ballet is still thriving in this area. I mean, it must be yeah. nice. You've come back a number of times. I mean, what have you seen sure. over the past few years as far as ballet in the Quad Cities is concerned? Well, I think that the, the audiences have been growing. I mean, I'm not sure if it is because people pass it on, all that. Some people are naive and they say, well, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see for the first time this ballet. Right. No, and sometimes it's the first ballet they, they would see. And, and they're so surprised. They said, it wasn't boring. I didn't <laughs> fall asleep. You know, like, of course. Of I course. Mean, because, I mean, and also it's the curiosity, curiosity. You know, it's the, the thing is the vulnerability of the people is like, well, what, what, what is the, the luring part of to, to come and watch this? You know, I mean, people like to be scared, but when you add a little it's bit true. of the sensuality that has that, I mean, nobody wants to be stabbed on the back, but here to be bitten in the neck, you need to be exposed to be bitten in the neck, you know? So, so all of that, your wrist, and that, those are areas that, I think that has some appeal no? for, 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 for that the thing that is driven by passion. So, so we were talking a, a little bit about Nutcracker uh, mm -hmm. a second Which ago. Which is coming up in December so at the Adler. I know, I mean, the, the most passionate part, I think, is the battle with the mouse. That's what people and, always and, remember. And, then, no, right. and, and it's a seven-headed mouse creature no? fighting with, the, with, with this little soldier. And, and I think that's the most passionate part. But for the rest, it's, well, it's cute, nice music, all that. But people want to, to experience the real, real emotions that we all have. 
Now, you've done Dracula a number of times. What do you find new in each performance? What do you find new each year? Well, th th that's the hard part. Yeah, I would think so. What to find new and, and, and to, keep it, to, to keep it alive. So one, one good thing is you always you get new blood, just to say. <laughs> no, you get uh, new dancers to recreate the, the original choreography on them. So this time we have more vamps, more vampires. So, which that is going to be so appealing. So, it's a small company, but once you see it, it looks like a big company. Do you it's feed off the company. audience as well? I mean, can, can you tell that they're out? I mean, because when you're on stage, you've got so much on your mind, but can you yeah. feel the audience at all? Well, the, the response and the energy from the audience, it really, it's, it's something that is hard to explain, but we can feel it. We can. No, we sense that at some point, I mean, we get people that are very, very um, composed mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they are afraid to, to let go. So that, you know, reads as being cold. Yeah, right, right. And sometimes they're afraid. They can get emotional and say, ah, well, but no problem. I'm going to be shush. No, no, sorry. Right. I should. So what would you rather on. see? Oh, people the that, that yeah. if they want to yell or not, <laughs> yeah. Or, oh, but, but be spontaneous, yeah. no? So it, it's not a concert that, okay, is the, the, the third movement mm -hmm. over? Okay, <sighs> now we're gonna applaud forever. No, no, applaud whenever you can. And, and at the end, if you don't want to applaud, hey, I'll be happy to see you backstage and just have a good handshake, mm -hmm. you know? Which sometimes that happens, you know? I mean, and people say, oh, I really enjoyed it, you know, and then you don't have to say much. But I mean, in terms of being spontaneous, it's, I think it's, it's part of being in a live performance. I think that, that makes it an Energy. experience. Yeah, to have an experience is to really live something and not only yourself. When you can share with somebody else, that makes it because you, you are, uh, for example, musicians or uh, they, they exude uh, these hormones, no? like oxytocin. And, and that, that really thrives through the audience, no? When, when you see that someone's getting excited mm -hmm. or, or like someone's laughing at something, oh, yeah, I can laugh too. Yeah, I yeah. mean, you can watch comedy and it could be hilarious and sometimes they're there. <laughs> yeah, it's truly But if you're with someone, oh, oh, right? That's perfect. You know, and, and that's what we need to, to, to create waves. And, and in this way, for example, this theater doesn't have uh, the orchestra pit mm -hmm. that creates one boundary. No one distance. So we come right on stage from the audience and back and forth. So all of that. So it's it's very. I mean, it's, it it's can very, be very, very personal. Touching. It can be it's very, very one personal. On one. Well, yeah. Jody, the October twenty first performance also begins with a little bit of an event for fundraising. I mean, this is a critical moment for Ballet Quad Cities, not only to see the ballet but also to help the ballet. And our fundraiser sets the tone, really, for the ballet. It's dinner with Dracula. And so the Scottish Rite Cathedral becomes Dracula's castle. There is a large uh, area that we turn into his dining room. It's decorated professionally. He has a throne, and everybody has a chance to dine with him. It's great fun. Last year, it sold out. We'd love for it to sell out again this year. All the money goes to the education outreach programs that we bring to area schools. There's a silent auction, there's dinner, there's the fabulous performance uh, during intermission. We have desserts, we have an artist there who's selling their artwork, they're painting the performance. So Dracula has turned into an event. It goes from five o'clock until 10 o'clock. Yeah. And then we have an afterglow party at uh, Steelhead Tavern in Moline. Oh, very good, all downtown, so you're not all traveling downtown, very far. No, not at all. Tell me about performing now. I, I hate to say this, but we're all getting yeah. a little older. I mean, you were talking right. about the fact that you go through rehearsals now, and it is uh, uh, uh. strenuous. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's uh, what I found through the years, the only thing that, that really helps to keep you going is the, the consciousness of breath, no? So in, in general, we tend to, to be very quiet and to only work with the, the least amount and not to show the effort and all of that. So now the, the more attention I pay to, to the breath, I discovered that anybody can be very expressive if, if they, they really put that. So that creates energy 
that goes back and forth. So for me, when, when you have someone expressive bouncing out of you, you also are you know, reciprocating mm -hmm. that, that kind of energy. No? So I, I would sum it up as something like, like, like a sigh, which is very subtle. So all that subtlety also can make you, you know, tingle, have goosebumps and all that. No? So for example, <laughs> you, you just have a small sigh, you know, that you have a scent, a glance or that, and then you exhale, it's like you're re reminiscing. But then it goes higher, so you got hope. And then, oh, you exhale, you have serenity. No, and then you get courage. No, I mean, it's, you are more, more into that. And then, okay, you are more subtle accomplishment. And then you got rage. No, you get into that kind of thing. And then whew, exhaling is wrath, no, like evil and all that. But then the max, you get ecstasy. And once you release, you got bliss. And after that, you can die. <laughs> so I'm waiting for bliss and then death? Well, <laughs> once, 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 yeah, once you have it, but also you could, you could die from, you know, from wrath and, 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 and rage. Made up tooth and Do you yeah, enjoy yeah, no. dance more now than you did oh. as a struggling dancer at, at oh. the beginning? Oh, by, by all means. I mean, now that I'm using all of these senses of, because it's not the same when, when you're inhaling that, that exhale. Mm -hmm. so, so now that I'm more conscious about it, it makes complete sense every little thing that you make. Otherwise, you become a very composed person. Right. That, and, 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 and you can see that creates a barrier because it doesn't go in and out. And that, uh. So n now that, that uh, I'm, I'm able to, to work with, with all of that energy, and believe me, I'm, I feel younger than when I was 28, all icky mm -hmm. and da, 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 even though you're young and stuff, but you have so many issues that block, that those are blockages actually that you get. So now that I don't have to prove anything, I'm over the hill and stuff, yeah. I'm having a ball. Yeah, youth is wasted. <laughs> and and, and, oh. and I, I can understand that if the dancer is not enjoying himself, the audience is not going to enjoy it at all. I mean, it only stays into pretty, you know? I mean, yeah. I, I'll just tell you this analogy. I, I have to say it every time. Because it, uh, sometimes uh, b dancers will become like a violin, like a oh, beautiful instrument. Oh yeah, that's beautiful, you know? But it doesn't make any sound. You need to play it. You need to make it vibrate. So once you see someone vibrating, the beauty comes from something else. It's not just the, the, the shape of the instrument that, that makes you beautiful. It's what you create and what, what you reverberate out of your, out of your body, you know, with whichever performance. The passion of Dracula. Domingo Rubio, thank you so much for joining us. No, no, my pleasure. Jody Cook, pleasure. we're looking forward to it. And please take part in the fundraiser because it really helps fund dance in the Quad Cities. And they'll just enjoy it so much, truly. All right, thanks so much, both of you. WQPT is doing its part to support the military men and women in the cities who are serving our nation. We call it Embracing the Military. The Family Advocacy Group is organizing a run and walk to mark Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Break a Sweat, Break the Cycle is a run and walk that's mandatory for soldiers on the island, but civilians are welcome to join as well. It starts Friday morning, October 20th at 6.30 at Memorial Park. Plus, next Friday is also a great time to bring out those later hosen. You know you have them in the closet. Rocktoberfest is now being held Friday the 20th at the Arsenal Island Clubhouse. There will be plenty of German food, beer, and entertainment. There's also a big bags tournament. Plus, it's a chance for you to collect a 2017 customized collectible beer stein. It starts at 5 on Arsenal Island. On the air, on the radio, on the web, and on your mobile device. Thanks for taking some time to join us as we talk about the issues on the cities. Public Affairs Programming on WQPT is brought to you by The Singh Group at Merrill Lynch. Serving the wealth management needs of clients in the region for over 25 years.